Hello folks, Silver5150 here with Iron Man inside the Iron Vault. Now, look closely. Do you see anything else? Is it just Iron Man? Or maybe there's some coins down here. What? This is the Silver5150 channel after all. And today we're going to highlight some Venoms. And we're going to revisit the cutest bullion coin in the history of mankind. 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 I got these coins here um, because I have some kids in the neighborhood or at work that I'm going to make sure they get these out into circulation. I'm going to get these out in circulation to them because I build their stacks for them little by little. And uh, of course their moms, they are the receivers and the custodians of said stacks, but the kids are building a stack whether they know it or not. So I've got five boys and one girl uh, that I like to gift these to. And so these are going to be going out tomorrow to them. I'm going to get them ready tonight. Um, but I wanted to go back um, to my big move here a while ago when I was doing the uh, the exchange of the noble metals, the rhodium, the palladium, and the gold for silver. And this is a, this is a shout out to um, a subscriber named Biggles on, uh, on my channel. And, uh, you know, he had talked about how he thought I made a killer move uh, by doing, you know, the trade the way I did. And I think, you know, I agreed uh, with him that I was within 90% of the top the current top, you know, in terms of how low silver was versus how high those metals were. Um, didn't catch quite the top. You never catch quite the top on any kind of move like that, but that worked out pretty good. So just uh, by the numbers, I remember buying rhodium when the rhodium to silver ratio was 71 to 1. I sold that rhodium to silver ratio at 551 to 1. Okay, so I got an additional 480 ounces of silver per rhodium bar than I would have when I bought it. Okay, so that was me playing the rhodium silver uh, ratio swap. And then with uh, palladium wasn't as extreme. I bought palladium when uh, silver, uh, the silver to palladium ratio was something like 63 to 1. You know, it was uh, actually, no, that's not true. I bought palladium a little while back before that. So probably, actually more like 51 to 1 on the rhodium, uh, on the palladium uh, silver ratio. And then on the gold to silver ratio here recently, um, I had sold, um, typically I think the real uh, market uh, spot to spot price trade was 83 to 1. So that, that helped me get, you know, a tremendous amount of silver for those metals. Now, I'm not done. I'm not done. Um, I've got those metals sitting in the depository, the silver, and those silver bars are sitting there. And the same group that accepted the metals I traded in, the rhodium, palladium, and gold, I just may come back to them later if this ratio starts to disclose or starts to break down to where now we start to revert back to the old ratios. Why wouldn't I buy rhodium, palladium, and gold again using that silver? And this is what McIlvaney Financial, the guys at McIlvaney Financial, they do for their investors. Their, their investors are long term. They you know, stick around for 20, 30 years. And so in that 20 or 30 year period, the folks at McIlvaney Financial, they are like maneuvering metals around for them, getting ounces of platinum on the cheap, you know, versus something that's overvalued. And they're always taking overvalued metals and reinvesting them in undervalued metals. Their timing's not perfect either, but you do that a few cycles, man. And by the time the smoke clears, you've got quite a stack um, if you're having those guys do it for you. I just decided to emulate them, do it myself. And so the result is me getting more of the sharp and shiny and the sharp and shiny i refer to as silver because i'm silver 5150 i prefer silver over any other metal but i will actually use other metals to get it because i dig it so let's see what happens um a lot going on in the news tonight futures are way down in the equity markets and then of course metals are up again because they're going to continue to go up now um probably all of them even rhodium and palladium platinum is a laggard but it'll it'll come along soon enough um but silver and gold are moving pretty good and you know I love myself some silver. I say that ad nauseum. And uh, hopefully that is going to um, make these a lot more valuable for those that are going to have them. And I'm going to make sure some of my favorite kids have them. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, folks. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you dig it. <laughs> we'll talk to you later.